Here's a particular long division problem that requires a little bit more attention. Notice the first polynomial has degree 4, but it is not written in descending order. So when you write this division problem, make sure it's in descending order. The other thing you want to notice is that we're missing a place value, and the place value here is actually the x's. Notice there's a place value of x to the fourth, there's a place value of x to the third, there's a place value of x squared, but there isn't a place value of x's. So let's write this first polynomial very, very carefully. Make sure it's in um, descending order. If you ever forget, you know, which way to write the divisor, notice this translates to 4. Uh, how many quantities of 4 go into 8? So we typically write it like that. Uh, let's write our divisor first. And then we draw our symbol. Negative 9x to the 4th minus 14x to the 3rd plus 4x squared plus 0 times x plus 15. And I'm going to draw that bar all the way to the 15. And I'm going to draw my finish line as well. Now we start off with a question about how many quantities of negative x squared minus x plus 2 go into negative 9x to the 4th. And the answer is 9x squared. And I'm going to put the 9x squared over the 4x squared. We are now at the step called multiply. So when you multiply here, make sure you remember you're using the distributive property. We go ahead and multiply, and we get negative 9x to the 4th uh, minus 9x cubed uh, plus 18x squared. And now we're at a step called subtraction. Now when you put subtraction here, you got to make sure you use parentheses. Use those parentheses very, very nicely and be very, very neat with everything. And we are going to subtract. Now we get uh, negative 5x to the third minus 14x squared, and we are now at the step called bring down. What are we going to bring down? We're going to bring down not necessarily the 0 times x, because that is a 0 quantity. Oh, I take that back. We are going to bring down the 0 times x. I'm working ahead a little bit, and the next step will actually indicate that plus 0 times x. You're going to see the importance of that 0 times x. We need that placeholder to exist. Now we're at the question again about how many quantities of negative x squared minus x plus 2 go into negative 5x cubed. And the answer is plus 5x. Now we're at multiply. And when you multiply, make sure you use the distributive property. And then we subtract. Draw the bar. When you're subtracting here, you notice you're very, very neat. We get uh, negative 9x squared. And we get subtract 10x. And now we're at the step of bringing down. What are we going to bring down? We're going to bring down a plus 15. We are at the question again about how many times does about how many times does uh, negative x squared minus x plus 2 go into negative 9x squared? And the answer is plus 9. Plus 9. And we're at multiply. We multiply. We get 
this, right? There we go. And now we add subtraction. And notice we hit our finish line. Now we have a remainder of negative x minus 3. So remember, up on top, right here, is the quotient, and this is the remainder. How do we write our final answer? Well, we take the 9x squared plus 5x plus 9, take the quotient, and we're going to, ha we're going to go ahead and add the uh, remainder and put it over its divisor. And the divisor is negative x squared minus x plus 2. Let's circle that. Make sure you're showing your work very, very neatly. Notice all the columns are lined up. And what do I mean by all the columns lined up? x to the fourth is below x to the fourth. x to the third is in a column. x squared are in a column. All the x's are in the column. And so these are place values. You can see the place values. Look at all the constants. They're also all in a column.